Now to a News 10 NBC exclusive. That's what angers me because he gets to live his life inside jail and later after parole if he gets it. And my brother can't see his grandkids grow up. 27 year old man will serve 18 years to life in prison for the murder of an innocent man shot and killed in Rochester. New tonight, we're hearing from the victim's family. Sales Rios was killed in a drive-by shooting while sitting on his porch last July. He was not the intended target. News 10 NBC's Marsha Augustin spoke to his family and has reaction tonight. She joins us live from the Hall of Justice. Marsha. Nikki and Brett, Luis Perez is Sayos's brother. Sayos died in Luis's arms on his porch after being shot in the head and screaming for help. His family faced his killer in court today as the judge read him his sentence. You do the crime, you do the time. Justice for Sayos Rios. After losing his brother just 10 months ago, Luis Perez and his family have been dealing with painful times and had to relive the murder of his innocent brother during the trial of the man who killed him. Although Lewis says justice was served, he doesn't believe it was enough. 24 to life, that's all good when you say it and put it in paper. But time flies by. Parole might be coming up soon. Who knows, maybe 10 years in good behavior. Question is, is he going to be reformed? Monroe County Judge Douglas Randall sentenced 27-year-old Teodora Rivera Jr. to 18 years to life for Rios' murder. He also got 15 years in prison, plus five years of post-release for criminal possession of a weapon. Assistant District Attorney Anthony Freeman says while he is pleased that Teodora Rivera admitted to shooting and killing Rios, nothing can bring back the life he stole. He just didn't steal his life. He stole his kid's life, his wife's life, his stepkid's life. Rochester police say 40-year-old Sayos Rios was shot from inside a stolen car near North Union and Weld Streets just after 7.30 p.m. the night of July 11. The gunfire also hit a 19-year-old man police say was the intended target. He survived. Lewis says his brother's killer showed no remorse in court and it was heartbreaking for the family. They're hurting, seeing him there. And furious, actually, furious, because, you know, it just, it makes my, it makes me wonder, like, you just really didn't care who you killed that day. Lewis explains that his mom has been dealing with health issues since the murder of Sayos, and the family is coping with his death through lots of prayer. Now, Lewis added the family is thankful to RPD and the prosecutor for the work done to get his brother's killer off of the streets. In downtown Rochester, Marsha Augustin, News 10, NBC. Difficult for this family. Marsha, thank you.